Hi guys, welcome to Karen's Corner. Look at all my washi tape. I have this, and I have this. Let's zoom out a bit. I have this, and I have this. So I have it a bit organized, just a bit. <laughs> well, I have so much, you just don't see what I have. If I want something with blue or red, I just open this one and, and I just see them, but you don't really see them. Do you know what I mean? You just see all these colors and Sometimes you think, oh, I need this one. This is nice. But most of the time I just open these drawers and I just don't know. <laughs> well, I have, I think, a really nice solution for how to remember what you have. Uh, and, well, I can remember what I have just by opening these drawers. <laughs> but still, if, if you see this, there's just a whole lot of black and white. And what is it? And grey and, and a bit of gold. And especially the green ones I have trouble with. Uh, let me just explain what I want to do. Uh, first, I need to get some of these. So I'm just going to start with some green ones. I'm just going to... How am I going to take these with me? You know what? <laughs> I'm going to start with... <laughs> um, with this one. That's way easier. <laughs> take this with me. <laughs> so my friend Mario has a bullet journal. And uh, she writes all kinds of stuff in it. And it looks really nice. Uh, she decorates it. My daughter does that too. And I just don't have the patience for, for that. But Mario had some nice ideas. She had put some washi tape. She had bought some new washi tape. And she wanted to show well, herself. I've got new washi tape. And she just stuck them in a little in her bullet journal. And I thought that just looks really nice. And it's really hard to explain you. So I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do. First, I'm going to tilt the camera a bit, because that annoys me. <laughs> um, so, you have a little journal. And I'm going to take out pages, because I think this is too much. So I can use this paper for something else. I'm just going to take out these, uh, whatchamacallem, and I'm going to put uh, something else through it, like, he like over here. Some embroidery thread or something. I don't know yet. I don't know how to close this book yet, but... I'm going to take it apart and then put it back together. <laughs> but what I want to do is, um, well, this actually. So I've got a bit of red washi tape. I'm just going to tear a little piece off. And I'm just going to put it over here. And then um, the next one. So this is, uh, is going to be a bit of a red page. And... Uh, Let's just see if this is a really nice page for this. Uh, and then maybe a smaller one. Oh, uh, this one. No, this part doesn't. I have to see... Uh, no, I'm not doing this right. Yay! <laughs> so you need a bit of space between the washi tape. Nice part is you can just take it off again. I might need to glue some of it down. So this was just a bit too big. Oh, one reindeer is going. So here we go again. I'm going to put one over here. And after a while, some of these will let loose because not all washi tape, washi tape stays on really nicely. But uh, then you can just put some glue under it. That's okay. This one needs to be a bit shorter. So I think this magazine, is this, this notebook is just a little bit too short because sometimes I want four of them. Well, let's just do that. Let's just try it. Uh, this one needs to be glued down, I think. But for now, I'm just going to do it like this. I'm just going to do a little piece of this. And some more hearts. Um, now this one is really long. Oh, why not do that? Okay. Then a really long one. <laughs> and then I want something that has red in it, but not really. This is not really a red tape. But I don't want it to be every page just has one color. I just want pieces of my washi tape. Uh, so I want a bigger piece of this one. <laughs> you have no idea what I'm going to do yet. <laughs> and then one that looks completely different, this one. Just a small piece. 
and just a small piece of this one if I can find the beginning okay now I've got to start so I think it would have been nicer if this book was just just a little bit bigger but I have this one so it'll have to do so now you have this that looks nice then I'm gonna take a pencil a pencil a marker this is just a simple marker from the HEMA and what I'm going to do is go around the washi tape just like this well that looks nice let's do that with this one as well so it doesn't have to be really straight you just draw around it I'm not really good at drawing straight lines so <laughs> As you can see. So look at this. That looks nice, doesn't it? Now for the fun part. I'm gonna do this over here. So I saw this, like I said, in my friend Mario's bullet journal. She just did it for fun, showing off her new washi tape, and I thought that looks really nice. Just make a little book filled with washi tape. You know, the tapes you have. Let's just uh, finish this one. Okay, look at that. And this one I'm just gonna do stitches around. <laughs> so this is actually very relaxing. See, can't even make a straight line over here. And this one I'm just gonna do circles. On both sides. Like this. Look at that. Doesn't that look nice? So I'm gonna do the rest and then I'm gonna show you uh, what it looks like. Uh, because I never do this, I have trouble um, thinking of things, of little borders, but you know, once you're starting, things will come to you and you can always go on the internet and find some doodling stuff. I don't know, just do something. Okay, here we go. So guys, I find it so hard to think of things to put around this. I don't doodle that much. I don't have a bullet journal and I don't do hand lettering. <laughs> I just don't have the patience for it. And even Centangle made me really nervous. So, but I thought this would be nice. If I, if I think of some of these um, things, it'll, it'll get better in a while. So I'm just going to do little dots over here. And with gets better, I mean, I'll, I'll think of things. And then it'll get relaxing <laughs> because now it's not that relaxing yet because I can imagine you know just sitting down one day and just taking some tapes and think oh I'm gonna put this one this one is nice I'm gonna put this long one in here and just you know just glue some of your tapes in here just for the fun of it and then another day you just sit down and think now I'm just gonna doodle around them just because I feel like it you know what I mean so I think this might be really a relaxing way of um, showing everyone and yourself I, this one is the same is it no it's different I thought it was the same and just you know uh, wait <laughs> what was I saying that's just this little thing on here and I can't I don't like that okay I'm a bit weird sometimes okay so this should be very relaxing just putting stuff in here oh I love this one so this is a red page but I can also just put some cute stuff together or just random it doesn't matter it's just fun to do just sit down and well it should be fun if it works but this one doesn't want to this happens a lot do you have that a lot that it just tears and you just can't get it right <laughs> Okay, so this one, I'm going to do two again. Like I was saying, this is really relaxing. <laughs> this is a really weird video, guys. I just don't know how to say what I want to say. I'm just too busy with this. And I, oh, I hate it when tape does, does this. Do, 
Do you have that too? I hate it when tape does it. Does it that touch? Does this? It just tears. I have got lots of those tapes. Maybe I should just throw them out. But this one is so cute. Oh wait, I've got it working. Right, this is gonna go on a, a pile. Is it worth keeping? Because I just love this one. I'm gonna try it one more time. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna put it over here. Because I've put it in here and I think, oh, that's a nice one. I want to use it. And then uh, you can't use it because it just doesn't work. So uh, I'm gonna put this in a different drawer and just see if I can make it work. If it just stays like this, I'm just gonna toss it because... Ah. Maybe I have a bit too much on this page. Maybe I should... Put, um, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows. Maybe I should just do six. But, well, you'll find out once you're working with this. It has no rules, guys. This is my washi tape doodle book. Is that a nice name? Washi tape doodle book. So, I've used them all once, once I've finished this. Except for this one, but that's fabric. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it in here because it's not really washi tape. Look! So everything that except that one that's in this drawer and except this one that doesn't work so it's not gonna go back is in here now so i'm gonna doodle this and i'm gonna show you once it's finished but i might do that this afternoon first i'm going to start by putting this all back oh okay i'll, I'll clean that better later on <laughs> first i'm going to take out these um Staples, duh, it's a simple word. I couldn't think of the word. <laughs> because uh, I don't have, I do have a lot of washi tape, but I don't have that much that I can fill this whole book. And I want to make it a bit more creative, a bit more, you know, like I made it, even though it's just a little notebook that I bought. I think I bought these in England and they were only one pound, I think. They were on sale, so I bought a lot. Okay. Ow! <laughs> I should not do that, guys. Be careful with scissors. <laughs> okay, how many shall I put in here? Where is it? <laughs> Where did it go? Here it is. So, one, two, three. I think five might be enough, just a little book. You know what? I've got a lot of washi tape. I'm gonna go for six. But that's enough. Come on. So I'm taking, I think, half of it out. One, two... Three. Oh, I'm taking four of these out. And I'm gonna leave six in. So I want the cover to be nice. So what shall I do on the cover? Of course, it would be nice to use washi tape. <laughs> Duh. But I wanted to say washi tape as well, so I think I'm going to use this. Uh, I'm not good with... This is a fine marker. Pit pen. I'm not really good with writing. I'm not, like I said, I'm not good with hand lettering or stuff. So I'm just gonna take this. Uh, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna start. It might not even be in the middle, guys. I don't really care. And these letters all have different sizes. <laughs> so no, this is not the middle. <laughs> but I'm just going to do it like this. So I've got the A. So this is a stencil by Diane Reevely. It's a dilution stencil. One of the first ones. tape doodles. I love it. So what else shall I do with this? <laughs> um, um, well, maybe put some... I don't know. What should I do? Put some washi tape around it. I want to make it a bit simple, I think. 
So I think I'm going to put some simple washi tape around it and color this in. Oh my god. I just don't know what to do on the front of the... I do know what to do inside because I absolutely love this. But I just don't know what to do with the cover. I don't. I've got nice washi tape over here. <gasps> Guys, I bought this at the Art Special event. I like this. Okay. Hey, wait, wait. Um, I love this wand. I love the... Mm. So I'm not sure if this is going to stick really well. So I think I need to go over it with Mod Podge or something. But I like this. First you don't know what to do and then suddenly, suddenly, suddenly you think, ah, that's it, I'm gonna do this. I'm going to use my new washi tape. So I like this part, but what to do with this? I want just to do this. Mm, it's a bit dark, this one. <laughs> I know it's easier just to fold it a bit, you know, at the beginning. But usually I don't have that much trouble with this, only when the camera's on. <laughs> well, that's not weird. That's, that's only logical. Perfect. But I need to make the letter stand out. So what shall I do? I can use my paint pens. Let's just try that. Of course they don't work. Make it a bit wet. That helps just to make it a little bit wet. <coughs> Sometimes when you use it on a page with paint. Nah. You just get some paint on the nib, I think, and then you need to take that off. Ah, here it comes. So, guys, um, um, <laughs> I'm... I think I'm going to color this with my dilution paint pens, but this I'm not going to fast forward or I wanted to say edit out. I am going to edit this out because, well, you get my drift. I'm just going to color these letters with my paint pens. Let me just do this one. I like it. Okay, see you when it's finished. So guys, look at this. Ta-da! It's finished. And I love it. I didn't know what to do on the cover of this thing and I didn't know what to call it, but I love the washi tape doodles. I love it because it's washi tape with some doodles. And I like the way this looks. I'm gonna leave the back side like this. Maybe I'll do something one day, but I like it like this right now. So, and I'm not going over it with Mod Podge just yet. If this is gonna, you know, peel off, then I might just glue it um, fast. That's Dutch. Uh, if this does peel off after a while, I might glue it down and go over it with Mod Podge. But now it just looks nice like this and maybe it just stays on like this. So what I want to do now uh, is doodle these. And um, I also... Huh? Oh, I've got two dil dilution pages now. These were left over, so I just put them in here. But now I want to make a little book out of this. So I thought I might use bright orange. Really, that you think, whoa, that's orange. So I'm going to use bright orange. So I'm going to take the middle. There is already a hole in here. There are several holes in here because of the thingies, <laughs> the staples. Oh boy, this is, I'm not really good with my words in this video, am I? <laughs> I have trouble with that a lot. But today I, I want to show you, I'm very excited about this and I just don't know how to tell you. 
Oh well. So now I need a needle. And do I have one where I can fit this through? No, that's not a good needle. Hmm, okay. I thought I had some over here. I do. Okay, this must work. Yes, it does. So I'm just gonna go in here. No, other way around, because I want the bow on the outside. This is just going to be a very simple binding. I'm just going to do this, and that's it. Should be enough. So, this is everything that's going to keep this together. Let's just make this really nice. Let's just... Look at this. Should be enough. Really? Right? Yes, it should. So, um, <laughs> this is not one of my best videos, guys. I just don't know what to say all the time. Haha, <laughs> well, it's finished, guys. It took some doing. It's a weird video. I just want to tell you stuff and it just doesn't come out right. What I wanted to say is that Mario had the idea to doodle around some washi tape in her bullet journal. And I thought that would be nice to make a little book out of it. So here is the little book. <laughs> this is the front and it says washi tape doodles. Because like I just said, you've got washi tape and I doodle around it. And I really like the way this looks. So I'm just going to one day sit and put some washi tape in here. And like I said, it can be one color, or you can say, I'm gonna do some dilution tapes. Oh, you can't see it. Or maybe I'm gonna do a page with some of my cute tapes. I don't know yet. So I'm just gonna stick in some tapes, and then someday when I just think I want to do something, I have five minutes, what shall I do? I can just sit down and doodle around them, just for the fun of it. But not just for the fun of it, because now when you look at this page, and to be honest, I can see these way better than these. These are just like in my drawer. Oh, lots of washi tape. And over here you see them separately. I'm not sure if you've got that, but that's what I have. That's what I see. I can really see this little piece and this little piece and this little piece. And over here I just see red washi tape. I'm not sure if I'm making myself clear. But so what I thought would be nice of this book, that's why I made it. Here comes the conclusion of this video. <laughs> um, you just see the washi tapes better than when you have them all stacked up in your drawer. And because you doodle around them, they're even, I don't know, they pop out a bit more. I see these really better than these ones. So when I just look through this, I think, oh, this is a really nice one. I forgot I had that one. Because when I open my drawer with red tapes, it just doesn't pop out this much. And I can just use it. Or when I want to make something and I think, what washi tape shall I use? I can just go through this book, once it's filled, and just look at it and see what washi tape pops up. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> or am I? Is this just a really weird video? I just love the idea. What do you think? Do you like the idea of a washi tape doodle book? <laughs> So, um, yeah, just stick in your washi tape, doodle around it, and it's just fun, it's relaxing. Making the book wasn't that relaxing for me, but the idea of the book I really love. And I'm just gonna sit down this afternoon and just stick in some, sticking, stick in some washi tape and just start doodling around it. So guys, I'm just inserting this clip now because uh, I did some more washi tape I want to show you. But first I want to show you that this washi tape isn't sticking as much as I want to, and this one is letting go completely so this one doesn't um doesn't stick as well so i'm not sure if i'm going to glue this down so it looks nice or if i'm just gonna glue it down in the middle so it stays on but you can see that it really doesn't work so if i want to use this one i know i have to use glue or just take it out completely and throw it away um, but that's a thing you also find out if you put it in this little washi tape book which ones are really nice and which ones just let go after a while but what I wanted to show you is that I finished doodling this page. So in the next clip, this is gone. <laughs> the doodling anyway. And I sat down and just put in some of my Dilutions washi tape. And I've got this page and it looks awesome. And if I'm looking for something a bit darker than this just and 
this immediately pops out. And if I think I want a bright color and you look at this, you see those and this one. So I think this will be really nice if you need a washi tape just to go through this book, like I said, and, and then the what you need just pops out a bit more than when it's in a drawer. And it's really nice to do, to be honest. I this When I made this book, it was uh, it didn't really work. But uh, this I just sat down and I took all my dilution washi tapes and I just taped it down and it was really fun to do. And uh, and then I just doodled around it. It was... that was relaxing. And um, over here you have a strip, but the washi tape was longer, there was more washi tape, so I made two strips and then I put the same doodles around it, so you can recognize it a bit. So um, the same goes for this one. This one has this part, but also this part. This is just a little blue part, but it's the, from the same roll as this one. So I thought that would be nice. I don't know, these two are the same as well. <laughs> you don't have to do that. That's just what I thought would be nice. Um, Okay, we're gonna go back to the clip where I ask you to like my video. <laughs> Here we go. I just wanted to show you this. Bye. So guys, <laughs> I hope you give me a thumbs up because this has been a really hard video to tape. <laughs> oh my gosh. And uh, I would love it if you subscribe and of course I would love to read your comments. So all that's left now is to say Groetjes from Holland. Hugs from Holland. Bye. Wait, I just said that wrong. Groetjes is greetings. Hugs is Knuffels. Knuffels from Holland. Hugs from Holland. Greetings from Holland. Groetjes from Holland. Bye. <laughs> Weird video. <laughs>